check it in with a driver who had a pretty bad tumble just about a week ago. 43-year-old Ryan Watt is out of Boyertown, Pennsylvania. He was down at Del Mar, and I know a lot of you guys saw the video. It made a lot of traction uh, on the Internet, and it was a pretty bad flip, actually. Hard to tell exactly how many times he went over. So we're going to check in with him, see how he's doing, find out what he's got going on this weekend. And, of course, the other thing that Ryan's got going on is his son is now racing in a big car, and sounds like he's doing pretty darn well as well. So let's head on down to Boyertown. Ryan Watt celebrated his 14th birth, 43rd birthday at the track last weekend. How we doing, man? Uh, doing good. So what what happened? Let's let's start with that. What went wrong? Um, yeah, I, at the time didn't really know exactly what went wrong. Uh, we were just running the heat race there, and the track was uh, was kind of narrow, one lane, and uh, you know, it was we were in uh, in fourth, and you know, the top four handicap in the heat race, and the car in front of me, I was definitely faster than, but just being in one lane track was kind of narrow. So I went to the outside of him, got a run down the back stretch. And, uh, so I, I thought I was racing against him and, uh, we came out of turn four going down the front stretch and I went to roll into turn one and, and I had no idea. We were actually three wide going down the front stretch oh. and the car actually got to the inside of both of us. And, uh, and I had no clue even until, you know, totally until I watched the video, but, uh, we just, and we both were going into turn one there and, and made contact and the way it hit the, left front of my car it just shot me to the right and when the car as soon as the car it was the fastest part of the racetrack shot to the right it just started sliding and it dug in and just started barreling how many times did you go four uh it was at least that i don't really know i didn't i didn't want like you know i watched the video just to see what kind of happened but i never counted counted how many times yeah it just kept going though what's that like as you sit inside i can only imagine what that must feel like yeah i mean it, it started slow because it started to tip and it's like, well, this isn't going to be good. And, and then from there, it just it took off. And it's like, I didn't know when it was ever going to end because the way that there's no wall there in turn right. one, um, there's a there's a runoff, and then there's a fence, and then there's people with their trucks backed up. And you know, at one point, I I, I knew I was getting pretty close to where those people were. Um, you know, I I didn't think I was going to stop before I got to that fence. You know, but luckily, luckily it did. So as you're flipping, you're going, gee, I hope I don't go too far and get into everybody else. Really, you're thinking that yeah, at that moment. That, 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 you know, thinking when the hard hit's going to come, you know, and luckily the, the soil down there is pretty soft off the track there. It's kind of sandy and stuff, so it, the hits weren't super hard. So, of yeah. course, you got to remember, take your hands off the wheel, right? No, in that case, I like to, I mean, uh, for me, I hold on. You know, really? I, I don't want my arm wailing around or anything like that, so I just, you know, I hold on to the wheel. Well, I've seen some people, they kind of cross their arms and put their hands on their shoulders. You've seen that on some in-car shots, too, but that, that, that was never a thought at all. Just ride it out and wait for it to stop? Yeah, as fast as it all happened. I mean, it really happened fast. I just, you know, yeah, just held on. Yeah, and it did. If you guys have saw the clip, you know what I mean. It's sliding, and then boom, there it goes, and it's flipping pretty good. How long does it take as you sit there afterwards to kind of get your bearings back? Um, so the way that one, you know, for me, you know, I didn't, uh, you know, I didn't, black out or hit my head really or anything that i know of um you know everything i was alert through the whole deal and as soon as it came to rest uh i had taken my seat belts off and pretty much you know you fall out of the seat um and i was i mean it, it was pretty quick that i was getting out of the car and uh delaware they used the same safety crew that they had that brett Dayo brings around to the series and he has over at georgetown and that safety crew i mean literally i had pulled that latch for that seat belt and the guy was already actually there really telling me not to because he was ready to flip the car over ready so um you know, and it was pretty quick. So it, you know, I mean, getting out of the car, then I kind of, you know, looked around a little bit to know which way I was facing. But, um, you know, that deal, like I said, it was actually, it was a pretty nasty flip. But luckily, it didn't land hard on. You know, I didn't hit a wall. I didn't hit anything super hard. Yeah, when you're upside down like that, some tracks want you to get out. They don't want to flip the car over, and other tracks do. Is there a preferred way to do that? Because I've always wondered, you know, what, what's best for you guys. Yeah, I mean, you never know if the car's going to be on fire or anything like that. So for me, if I see a way that I can get out, I'm going to get out, you know. And the way it landed, the side was still open. The roof wasn't rolled down over it. So um, I seen that there was a gap big enough to get out, you know, out of the car. And I knew it wasn't leaning up against another, you know, it wasn't leaning up against the wall or anything like that where I thought the car was going to tip over. I mean, it was laying pretty much upside down on its roof flat. So Right. Yeah, because I remember years ago when they had the check balls, they didn't want to flip them back over because sometimes that could splash the fuel, right? Yeah, yep. Oh, so wow! And there's no easy way. No matter what you do, you're going to end up in a in a ball on the on the roof anyway on the cage. That can't be that can't be comfortable. 
Yeah, my neck was a little stiff last week, and I think that might have been part of it when I fell out of the seat. <laughs> okay. Now, so, were, you, were you planning on racing last weekend or no? So we were, we were well, yeah, so we were going to run Big Diamond, both Logan and I, on Friday night and then turn the cars around to go to uh, to go to Grandview on Saturday. But after that happened, and um, we don't have a spare spec car ready to go for me, so for for Friday night, I'd run the same car again Saturday, so we just figured it'd be easier just to take off. I mean, our primary deal this year is to run Grandview uh, for the points there and, you know, just focus on Grandview because it's five minutes, six minutes from my house. Um, so I, I planned on not running then after that, running Diamond, but we were planning on running Grandview, but then it then it had rained out. Oh, so it worked out. So, And the car that you yeah, flipped, came, this is a clone to the one we're looking at in the picture here? Yeah, so in the off-season, we put two new Troyers together, and the plan was to... Uh, to try to run the chores as much as we can and learn as much as we can with them. And, you know, at the end of the year, I felt like we were really good with our small block car. And, you know, we wanted to be able to run the series races with the, you know, more horsepower in the car and, and run that on the tour this year. And uh, so that was the first race for it. We, we got a new uh, a Wagner uh, weekend warrior motor, the 427 motor. And oh. we had just gotten that in there. And that was the first race. We were just getting to shake it down to try it out and, you know, just use it as a test to get ready for the series race that's coming there in, in May. And, you know, didn't really get to learn a whole lot. And that Wagner motor he's talking about, that's the W16 that they talk about. Aluminum block 427, right? It's No, it's a steel block. It is. Um, yeah, it is a steel block. It's, uh, it's an LS motor, and it's like 750 horsepower, but it's only... Um, it, it, it's only like 24,000 uh, new from Wagner to, to buy. So it's a good, you know, yeah, a good motor to, to try to compete with these guys with. Of course, you got to watch. Some people tell me, too, though, certain tracks, like a stop-and-go track, that's not going to do it, is it? Yeah, I mean, the track was really heavy there at Delaware, so, I, you know, I didn't really get to learn much with it. I mean, I'd like to see in the future how it would have been. Um but when I went out in hot laps with it, I mean, it definitely had plenty of separation. I thought that was pretty good in hot laps. Um, yeah. So, you know, like I said, we didn't really get to get our good reading on it yet. Yeah, and that's the car they've used, that engine, in a lot of the 358 series. And, you know, there's guys who really like it and, and other guys who wish they had just a regular old spec head 358. So what's up this weekend? So this weekend I'll be heading to a Big Diamond Friday night to run. Last year I had raced uh, for – Tim and Sean Fitzpatrick in the T-102 at Big Diamond. So uh, this year I'm not running weekly for them, but I'm going to run some races when Sean. Sean usually drives the car, and he can't get there as early. Uh, he has other things going on Friday night. Okay. So I'm going to go up and run that car this Friday, and then Saturday night we'll head to, head to Grandview again. In the car we're looking at right now. Yep. Gotcha. That's the Ronnie's Auto Repair ride. So, And you're feeling fine today? As, let me see. It's about quarter to four on, on Tuesday. You're fine? Hundred percent. Yeah, everything's good. I mean, the only thing last week that I had was a little bit of a stiff neck. Um, you know, actually, Tuesday, uh, Thursday it wasn't bad at all, but Friday it was a little, you know, a little stiffer. So I was kind of glad when I was up there at Big Diamond that, that I uh, had decided to take the night off anyway. You know, it it helped it uh, help my neck heal up a little bit and rest up, and everything felt good all weekend. So um, we should be good to go. I'm glad you're okay. Uh, I kind of waited on purpose to make sure I gave him some time to recover and everything. So, again, you'll be able to see him this weekend. Big Diamond in the T-104 car. And then, of course, in the car you're looking at right now, the exact same one, as a matter of fact, uh, at Grandview on Saturday. Or T-102, excuse me. That's the car there. Yep. Thanks for making time for me, Ryan. I appreciate it. Good luck with everything. And uh, hopefully the next time we talk, it'll be about something a little better, okay? All right, sounds good. <laughs> you take care. Guys, hit that blue E. Make sure to watch the ad next time you're going through here. Of course, so turn on notifications, all that cool stuff. And we'll have more stuff from Canada. We're coming up later this week.